So we are an electrical distribution company seven times the size of the United Kingdom. And the problem has been for quite some time is where does the data go? So we wanted to be able to capture data through open protocols and sort of industry standards. We didn't want any customized sort of stuff. We wanted the platform to be able to produce information because we all know that data does not equal information. And we wanted it to be as off the shelf as possible, as little development and as more configuration as possible. Something that our engineers could access, create what they needed to create to do their jobs. So that self-service model is a real key point of what we were looking for. And we signed an enterprise agreement with OSIsoft. Suddenly there were all these devices that were available, you know, already deployed on our network, sitting there dumbly, and suddenly we could connect them. It was just a matter of putting in the IP address and we were away. As you gain heat from the environment, the net current carrying capacity that you have left in that conductor reduces. And in Queensland, where our peak power happens on hot days, it's a double whammy for us. So you can imagine on a very hot day, when everyone's turning on their air conditioners, the conductor is already the most constrained. So it also causes us to build our network almost bigger than you need to to start off with, just to account for that kind of, that, that kind of situation. And the net result of this is you miss out on a whole bunch of capacity at certain times of the year in that conductor. So let's look at what we need uh, to, to calculate the thermal capacity. The first thing is the material, the condition of it, and the location. What's the ground cover? Solar irradiance, your ambient temperature, your wind speed, and your wind direction. All of a sudden, we've got all the inputs we need in our AF template for a section, and all that's left to do is to crunch the numbers and, and to produce those ratings that we were talking about. So here at the bottom on the white, we've got the actual load on that feeder, and that's red through SCADA. Purple is the existing static rating. And then the green, the beautiful green, is the result of our calculations. And you can see for the majority of the time, it's quite a lot higher than the purple. You can't quite see the sort of the scale there. But fundamentally, there's points in this chart where it's 44% higher than the static rating. Let's talk about the Pi integrator for ArcGIS. So this feeder, each is made up of a number of sections as we talked about. And those are color coded depending on that thermal stress that we're calculating on each section. The results are very positive so far, so we're seeing utilization improvements, potential utilization improvements of over 20%, which makes or breaks a lot of these business cases for these solar farms.